Trigger point. So a trigger point is basically areas of muscle fibers which are stuck in contraction. So they require a certain amount of pressure to try and stimulate them to release. But you also get a lot of fair pain. So it's not just where the area where the trigger point is. It can also affect fair up the core, even up in the hamstrings and the glutes sometimes as well. Is that going to affect the flexibility? Yeah. yeah. Because the whole surrounding area is going to be tight as a result. So. so I've, got, I've lost before the operation. I lost about. Movement. Yeah. And I still got about 35% still missing. Yeah. So, the whole hip, hip balance is out. So I deadlift. Um, and because I'm in prep at the minute, I stopped squatting. So you don't squat at all? For about six months, I haven't done. I'm going to start again now because I don't think I'm going to do the competition. Now. That's really sore now. The beauty of a trigger point. <laughs> So you what you want, so it depends on that one, yeah. Is that enough, thanks? Yeah. See if I can walk that. Give it a die also, you might be thanking me. <laughs> yeah, it hurts a bit. <laughs> 
you think I'll move more now? If anybody wants a massage, I'll be getting contact with you. Yeah. Um, we were coming to the gym and see if I'm out, or you can contact me on 07710 6307 Or my website is www.wearewellsports.com Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye bye. Vlog, it's Thank you. 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 X amount of years since I've known him, so definitely go there. Don't mind my pink really. It's not my keys, but it's my car. <laughs> well, it's not my car. I didn't steal it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely, like. No, actually, genuinely, as it not even um, not even joking. It's like absolutely ridiculous to try and keep on top of the messages because it's like. <sighs> uh, you know, like for me, that's why it was kind of like okay bombard you with messages when I know you're doing all the busy stuff or just like leave you to it's like just grind because I know that grinding <laughs> like cutting life out like do nothing about from been here for like 16 hours a day averaging about 6 to 7 hours sleep and that was it 6 to 7 hours sleep but actually that being home for 6 to 7 hours including eating and showering but yeah it's done I'm not, I'm not complaining no I don't not complaining, by the way, the process. Hey, uh, Fia, 25 pounds. How are you doing? Yo, long time. How are you doing? You okay? I'm good, good. Get on the vlog. We had a vlog, a vlog inception before, actually. How do you feel? Um, it's not real yet. It's so It's starting to feel real today because we're actually working. That now it's feeling real. 100 members up, up, which up until about Thursday last week, we sold out. Oh, well. Um, and then today, people signed up who aren't even. Alright, I'm the founder members. Sounds good. Because there's so many people doing this type of food, I've made a decision on coconut and peel. Peel and coconut. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> he, he does that all the time. And coconut. He does that all the time. Peel. <laughs> 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 um, because they put all the macros on the menu. I follow the cheetah, I'm also a cheetah as well, so I also follow the cheetah. Yes, is it? Like, uh, follows Lane Norton and stuff like that. They can cope with the demand, who's not going to be a very busy gym. And they've got bands on the road and stuff like that, so we've decided to go. Chocolate orange breaking ball. Basically, I've got the fuck, 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 Nice. Got chili. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the minty chocolate protein ball. <laughs> What flavour did you get? Chocolate orange. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> 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 Mine's not probably up. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I like it. Yeah. Not, not a lot of fat today, so I'm not going to eat all of it. Okay, uh, peel and coconut. Oh no, not coconut and peel. Amazing. I really like this, that they've got unilateral machines and isolating, isolating machines as well, like that stiff uh, hamstring curl. <laughs> So it's one of those things where in most gyms you don't have that because it's too expensive. But in a gym like this, it's perfect. With a lot of it, what, what you're conscious of is the size. But in most gyms you only have like one of each equipment anyway. Mm. So come to a gym like this where it's fairly out the way. You know, really cool that kid people would come here, so I don't imagine getting too busy. But even then, because it's got a huge green space. You can just diversify your workout even if it is busy. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so this is the famous leg press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, but what I want, I want Chris to do like a fucking who's the strongest competition now. <laughs> I want to set some records on the deadlift or something. What the fuck? Fuck my life. Now that looks amazing. I'm, I'm actually quite happy because I'm doing it legs today and I want to use the hex bar. So. Uh, I could not feel that. Uh, yeah, I'm on hammock. All kinds of gains. I'm going to have a facial, guys. Before and after this. Ready? <laughs> British. 
Everybody is walking around like this on the phone. Yeah. From, that's where they get the information of what they're going to do next. That's where they get it's, it's a social recommendation. So, yeah. what's happening now is people are looking at my Instagram. Yeah. People are looking at the gym's Instagram and they're going, yeah. What's that there? Because people don't look yeah. in yellow pages anymore. People don't look in newspapers anymore. Yeah. It's all word of mouth marketing. So, what you, you almost need to and if you want to be successful successful need to and have to yeah. be on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. 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 Forget Twitter, Twitter's dying. I don't even know where to yeah. start with Twitter. So then people then tag you and say I'm just getting that little deal, mm -hmm. thanks to the guys there, you can start marketing yourself that way. Thanks, so for now I'm saying I'm getting this done but yeah. I can't tag who I'm getting yeah. this done. Yeah, it's starting to lose a bit really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so if I go back in time here and I go on the story, the story is like a 24 hour part of your life that's happening. Yeah. I look to, to 
Let me show you. But I've tagged Lily getting that Lily massage you mean? Ah, yeah. So there's like thousands of people seeing that. Yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah. How'd your hands feel? Do you feel any smoother at all? That's like builders' hands before that. Like everything was so close together. That was it. Yeah. 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 They've had a nail file before. Some fire. That's how I've ever been. What's up? Yeah. Do you get it? Like, it's gone on feet as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hand my hand. 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 Moving all the way back, it's like, it's got a base, it's not bad, 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 it's Nice and smooth, thank you very much. Done. Nice and shiny. Proper um, built the workers, uh, not workers, <laughs> lifters' hands. Yeah. All shiny now. Nice and smooth, I don't think. You, got, you guys watching, this is Heather, Hello. who was one of the first. I did one of the second set of webinars, uh, just, over, just over a year and a half ago. Two years in October. Okay, so uh, about two years ago, I started doing online. I'm not an online webinars, I was doing online coaching, I had too many clients, one on one. And a few people wanted to be coached by me in a group. So Heather was one of the first, that was a good year ago. For Empowered by Eating. So now you've gone back and done Empowered by Eating again with the online version. Yeah, yeah, so um, after finishing the webinars and doing the five weeks with you and then going through my own case, um, recently a um, few issues personally that set me back a little bit. And uh, so when we, we went uh, live online in January, jumped back on and started from scratch again. So we found all my maintenance again, we found all my fat loss phase and adjusted all my macros and realised that halfway through last time, as I reduced my calories, I didn't actually, I kept I reduced my protein intake and didn't actually keep the protein high. Um, and so as I was losing weight, which great, I was also losing heart and muscle as well. So this time I kept my protein higher again. I was asking, I was asking one question. There we go. Yeah, that would like really like <coughs> help other people. Would be what would, would be the biggest mindset change? So for me, it was eating fruit and vegetables. Okay, that was, that was my biggest change. So the first time round, I wasn't eating the five portions of fruit or the, the grab them out, um, and getting my head around the fibre side of it. Obviously, coming from the fruit and veg for me um, has really changed from what I eat and when I eat it. Because um, not having that intake of fruit and veg was just putting everything was so proud and I was so low on them, like, so dense in my carbohydrates. Protein has fine enough, so I ate a lot of chicken all the time anyway, so that wasn't much of a change. But to go down and make sure I was eating, so I've had a big fear of lettuce, <laughs> tomatoes, all those, anything raw. Um, so being able to go back and actually look at how, what, what foods contain. And especially going, I've, I've been on my fitness pal for five, six years, but I never actually looked in at what foods contain. And then when we were going out, I was like, oh, well, what? I won't vlog today, I'm going out for the day. Whereas now, everything is vlog. Last week, I was well over a thousand calories over my limit every single day last week. But it was my week off, it was my holiday, and I know that I still hit my percentage wise. So while I didn't hit my calories last week, I still hit my 50% of my 225 percent which is what I'm on. Uh, for my fat carbohydrates and proteins, so that really makes a difference for me to know that if I need to adjust 
on me because I'm not. Oh my god, I've fallen off the bandwagon. I've got to start all over so again. The biggest, the biggest thing for you is the not falling off the bandwagon. You just carry on. I'm just carrying on. It's just another day. It's been years now. Yeah. So I'm going to go over and tell them there's a new rule in the gym, there's no curling in the squat rack. What do you say this one goes? Chicken tarragon. Chicken tarragon. Yeah. Chicken tarragon. This is a chicken, it's a chicken tarragon I'm trying. The macro is upstairs because we're on the menu, but this one's pretty good. So, while I'm eating some of dinner that I've just had um, pulled out of my our fridge, which is coconut, right? Peel and coconut. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, coconut peel again. I thought I'd chat to these guys and find out a little bit about what they do properly and what they're going to do for the gym and for people who follow Empowered by Eating. So first of all, you're just covering the Merseyside area. Yes. For now. For now. So if you're watching this in the future, still contact these guys if you're not, because I know a lot of you guys are in London and Scotland and all over the world, but. You might be watching it, we'll you might be all over the world. We'll be seeing you soon. Worldwide. But they might do the whole of the UK. So for now, it's just a Merseyside area. But what are you going to be doing for the gym? Maybe just tell them a little bit about that. So we're going to be hopefully working in partnership with Empowered, Empowered by Eating, and Empowered Fit Gym. Mm. Feet will be acting as a hub and living all the food here. Yeah. Hopefully for the clients, they can train, come in, pick up the food, all goes hand in hand, train, eat repeat basically and the fridge will be there come in pick up where you go so um, we're going to have the fridge and the reception there um, yeah. both logos your our logos are going to be on it the food's going to be in there yeah. they can order how can they order so they order through social media or via email okay. so it's so select their package or if they need help with the package they can obviously put it over the morning on the phone and we can case up their needs basically. So the cool thing about for me, and this, this is why we kind of picked these guys, I spoke to you guys early on about that. But the cool thing for me is when they give you the food, first of all you choose what you don't like and then you then you get to choose out the meals. But you've got macros on there and for me that's a big thing. You can either choose the calories if you're following in power eating level one. Or you could choose the macros if you're following in power by eating level two. Um, and that's what a big thing for me is, is that. Yeah, Plus obviously the quality and the, the taste and I've been eating it. I literally wouldn't have been eating while <laughs> opening this gym if I didn't have it. Saving lives, that's what we do. Saving but all, all the recipes as well are they're on my fitness pal. They're not live just yet because I'm still speaking a couple of the recipes, but in a few weeks time you will be able to go on my fitness pal, search whichever meal it is, feeling goes on, meatballs, away you go. So like that, that's what that's what we um, I tell a lot of people when you get when you go out when you go eating out, I say go to Nando's and stuff like that. Yeah. And um the Nando's you just type in Nando's and you get it or Pizza Express or wherever they go, which the, the menu, the macros are on the menu. Yeah. So you'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be, we'll be beating there. <laughs> so that's that. That was absolutely lovely. And I might steal a peanut, a coconut ball off you now go, as well. Go for it, mate. These Fire are away. these are the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> just taking advantage of the camera. I'm just going to steal <laughs> yeah. all, steal all your food. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Yeah. Well, pleasure, mate. So this is Chris's mum. How are you? <laughs> this is the empowerment of Oh my god, this you miss me? Hello. Just gonna make a good slow mo montage. <laughs> got name, you got your name on the card, but... Do you know what I did? I put Chris and Lofty, and then I thought, so I've got to put the right yeah. name. That's okay. I didn't tell you, we all know it. Oh, no. You know. Traffic or focal? Oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Who gets a car for it? Who's the opening the gym? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every car. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Oh, yeah, you go. Yeah. 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 Yeah
back and I've thrown this in at the end just to kind of offer some gratitude again on a second ending to a vlog to everybody that's followed everybody that's shared something everybody that's been involved everyone that's been involved to make this happen it was like such a long journey and it feels completely surreal to actually be here with a gym and a gym that like it's not somewhere where I'll just train it's actually my gym uh, or mine, mine and Fia's gym. It's absolutely amazing. And also the feedback to this blog is absolutely awesome, or vlog. Everybody's um, messaging me and talking to me when they see it and saying they've, they've learned a lot. So I appreciate the feedback as well on that. And I'm gonna work hard over the next coming months to give as much information as I can here to the fitness fanatic, to somebody who wants to get in shape, somebody who wants to lose some body fat, people who are interested in bodybuilding of course and of course entrepreneurs who want to do this type of journey themselves whatever their journey might be um, in whatever business it is I want to give some advice uh, or some help and some of the things that I've learned along the way so it's a message of gratitude and thanks to everybody that was involved in making this happen I can't name you all because there were so many people <laughs> 